How can you make a stat system that will save for the player when they leave the game? So in my previous video, we made a stat system. So basically, uh, for example, coins or something like that. It couldn't be anything really. But how can you make it save when the player leaves? So by default, if you make a, uh, if you made like a leader stat system right here, so this one right here, we made this script. This adds uh, like uh, this add a stat to the uh, to the player. But when the player leaves, the stat will reset. So how can we save uh, the player stats when they leave the game and when they join it, they'll uh, have the same amount of coins? So first, we need a data store service. So we'll do data store equal game colon uh, yes okay get service. We'll get a service and it's and it will be called data store service. Okay. Now when we, once we've got that, we'll do local data equal uh, data store and get data store colon get data store. This will make a new data store and we can name it anything we want. So we'll name it uh, stats. Okay. So this is uh, the name of our data store. So now uh, once we've done these two, we can now start on the player added event. So you can be, do uh, these two. This uh, I did this in my previous video. So you can uh, add as much stats as you want. So for example, this is just, this is just the coins, uh, the coins value. Or the yeah the coins value, all right. So let's say we want to save the coins. We'll do first of all this is when the player joins. By the way, so we'll do a local coin value, or you can name it whatever uh, you want. Uh, data get get a sync player dot user id dot dot. Uh, coins. So basically, what we do, or we, what we've done, <coughs> is we did uh, data get a sync, which uh, basically gets. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but basically, the player that user ID, the player that joined, and their user ID, since it's a unique key uh, to the player, and we concatenate this uh, with the key coins, since that's what we're saving. But you can name this whatever you want. This is just so we know what we're, uh, exactly we're saving. So basically, uh, when a player joins, if the player has data stored or data saved, it will get that data, uh, get that data, and it will uh, put it in whatever value or whatever um, currency or stat uh, they uh, uh, they have. So for coins, uh, we'll add the amount of coins that they had, and we'll put it uh, in their coins value. So we'll do player dot leader stats. That coins that value, okay, with capital V equal coin value. So coin value, coin value is the amount of coins uh, that they had saved. The amount of coins, okay. And let's just make an if statement since um, they could just be joining and have zero uh, coin saved. So that would be just useless. So if coin value does not equal nil, basically if it's not zero, since nil would technically be zero then we'll cut this okay all right so i put this in the if thing now once we've done that we can now start on the player uh, removing event so this is what happens when the player joins now we can do a uh, player added uh, no player leaving sorry game that players that player leaving removing I meant removing not leaving uh, player removing connect this to a function and have player as the parameter oops what okay now once we've done that we can now uh, make Okay. Well, before actually, before we do that, I should make a pcall function. This basically uh, helps the script not to break completely. So if there's an error with saving the uh, the data, it won't break the entire script, uh, but rather it will keep the error inside uh, the pcall function. So local success error message equal pcall function 
right? Okay, enter. And okay, hold on. I think that's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, then we can do uh, data get a sync get a sync, right? So we'll do data get a sync. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. Uh, data get. Okay, we can do this directly. And do the same thing. Play that user ID inside the brackets. Player that user ID because user ID is a it's basically unique to the player and it doesn't change. And do the same thing. We'll do coins since we're saving coins. Make sure you type exactly like how you did uh, here. All right. And the next parameter is the amount, the value that you're saving. So player dot leader stats dot coins coins dot value. Okay, so you've got this. So in the first, uh, so in the first parameter, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, where we want to save it to, to the player, right? And we're saving the coins that value, so the amount of coins. Right. So for now, I think everything should work fine. Uh, yeah, let's test this out then, right? Of course, you can do uh, multiple uh, multiple values. So you can do coins, and in addition, if you have like a more more than one currency, for example, you can do gems, or maybe uh, at, you know like level or XP. Let's test this out. Okay, we have two coins, but that was from last time. So let's collect this again. Let's get three coins. All right, so we have three coins today. Let's stop this. Okay, and then let's play, let's rejoin. So it should be, oh wait, hold on, that didn't work. Hold a minute. Uh, oh, oh my God, I forgot, sorry. Uh, set a sync. So this basically uh, is what you want to do when the player leaves. So you uh, have it saved, or you basically you set it to uh, the Data, I guess the data, the, the data that you want to save, right? Uh, meanwhile, get a sync is when the player uh, joins. You want to uh, to do that to when the player joins. So basically, it was uh, it gets uh, the saved data. Sorry, that was my bad. Now let's uh, play this again. Okay, let's do this all over again. Okay. Now we have three coins. So that's basically it. If you want more tutorials, uh, oh god, <laughs> oh god, I forgot I was I was running this video. Oh, okay. Anyways, if you want more tutorials, just uh, if you just uh, comment down what you want next, and of course subscribe because I mean, come on, you have to subscribe. If you want me to make tutorials, you better subscribe and like. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna jump off. <laughs>